another thing that you might want to do in the top half in the definitions window um, is uh, you could put text that is not really a formula but just helps us understand uh, what's going on okay so uh, maybe you have something like uh, um, uh, you want to say that this is the remaining amount of cash you have whatever you know just just say you could just put text like this okay or uh, this is uh, I don't know uh, uh, favorite ice cream flavor which you know it's very strange to call 19 a favorite ice cream flavor but whatever you can put whatever you want but this is gonna be confusing to the computer because the computer doesn't really know what it should be calculating and what's just sort of for your your for our human understanding okay so um, to tell the computer to ignore the text because they're not formulas okay what you need to do is to put a semicolon in front of the text that you want to ignore so the rule is if whenever you put a semicolon anything to the right of that semicolon is ignored okay so this is not ignored because it's not to the right of the semicolon okay this is not ignored either and we want it to be ignored so i'm going to put another semicolon here so now we have two semicolons that cause the computer to ignore basically two whole lines to the right of the semicolon okay um, those things ignored are called comments because they're kind of like how uh, we humans could comment on the formula that we also put in the definitions window Okay, so as long as we put the semicolons there, the computer just ignores whatever is to the right of the semicolon on the same line. So when I hit the run button, it computes the same two formulas. Okay, um, the text there after the semicolon is just for us to better understand what we're doing.